Hey Kelly, happy Friday. I, I'm not gonna lie, I laughed at your video for this week because you're the one who's always telling me like, no, you're not that old, you're not that old, and you're like watching myself age, and I'm like, okay, you see, that's what I was going through, except for I didn't really have the outlook of like, oh, I'm still young, I'm just slowly getting old. I had like a lot of joint pain and a lot of other things going on that really made me feel old, even though I was in my 20s. I learned a lot of stuff about how to combat that, and it's really cool. In fact, so this last weekend, <clears throat> when we were in New Orleans, it was an awesome time. Thank you very much for noticing. But the, one of the best things about the weekend that was my absolute favorite was getting to talk to Dr. Elliot Cleveland of Marching Health, and he, he's a really cool guy like first of all he's super knowledgeable and second of all all of his resources are focused toward marching band and i think that's one of the problems when i was marching was that nobody really focused on physical fitness in marching band and in dance mostly people do it's just for some reason in marching band and color guard it, it just wasn't being done and it really needs to be like we need to be treating marching arts performers like their athletes basically because they are and I noticed something like a lot of times the people who played sports outside of color guard and also did color guard are the ones who didn't get hurt and we kind of have the same deal going on at Spintronic so we're gonna like implement a lot of the stuff that I learned from him into our season this year we're implementing so much stuff we went to business meetings and all kinds of things but Dr. Elliot and I got to do a a couple of live streams together and we were even on flow marching which is awesome like I just kind of was in this sort of excited state for the whole time we were working on stuff it was just fantastic and my Wednesdays are always so so crazy I have school all day like normal and then I go teach Zumba after school and then I go to SBU and I teach my college biology class in the evening and we do a lab. So it's just, Wednesdays are just crazy busy and I'm feeling it. I just watched your video last night and I just really like felt like I had stuff to say. I figured out how to get the angle a little bit better on my camera when it's in the holster in my van but it also means I can't see myself, which is fine. I don't need to see myself. I'm driving, obviously, and I'm just talking while I'm driving. And yeah, I'm about to pull up at the school. We have a teacher who bought a Tesla. I'm super jealous because I want one so bad, so bad. So yeah, this was not the best video either this week. I was expecting to be able to like put in a bunch of footage from New Orleans and make it super interesting and make it super cool, but I'm not going to. I am so tired. I ended up throwing in a visit to the doctor because when I was mowing the grass the other week, I got into some poison sumac. And that was not fun, but doctor got it all taken care of. And then, yeah, I'm just, I took a shower. I'm going to go to bed. And hopefully, I'm going to make you a better video next week. We'll see, because I'm actually, I started taking an online class, and I have like three marching band shows I have to finish writing. And I also started doing some judge training online, and so I need to get to that. So... Yeah. Oh, and next weekend starts marching band contest judging. So I'm going to be super busy. Like, I don't even know how I'm going to get all this stuff done. I really just need, I need a secretary to like do stuff for me. I don't know what I need. I need to go to bed right now.